Okay, it's a Tuesday morning, which means it's tech time, and guess who we've got? Colette inside the studio. Hey, Francois. Hi there. How are we doing uh, today as we, uh, uh, you're just waking up? Oh, my. Uh, what's that? Partying last night or? Um, oh, Partying well. from the weekend. I haven't quite recovered. Okay. You had yourself, uh, oh, you, you were working with uh, the big show that yeah, they had. Yeah, I was working at the and show. It was a nice show, too. How did that turn out? I thought it turned out yeah. very well. I mean, excellent, excellent production, and kudos to the production team. Mm -hmm. They had it, had it flawlessly from start to finish. All right. It was pretty good. Cool. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so so you, you, didn't, you didn't videotape it for me or anything like that? I do. I have it on DVD for you in my All car. Right. I'll get it for you in just a moment. Okay, cool. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> uh, they had a lot of tech there, and you know, two reasons. Was it streaming? No, it was not streaming. Oh. No, deliberately not so streaming. Uh, but Why not? People all around the world. True, true, but they wanted yeah. people to come to the celebration. And if you can stay at home and watch it, why, why bother go? I think, you know. You know, I think people have two different experiences. There are people who uh, don't want to see something on TV. Mm -hmm. They want to be there. Yes. And there are some people who say, I don't want to be there. Yeah. And they, they, they want to just see it on TV. Maybe I'm, I'm one of those because I want to yeah. smell the, the smells. I want to see the sights. I want to feel Yeah, the a show like that, you want to be there. Yeah. You really do want to be but there. But I guess if you couldn't fly in, well, next yeah. year, I'll talk to them about that. Okay. So in, in response, in overwhelming response to our feature where we spoke about uh, speeding up your BlackBerry and lots of people oh, have yes. had lots of BlackBerry questions. And lots of questions. In light of what happened um, at the big show mm -hmm. when a number of people's phone batteries died, today we're going to be talking about extending the life of your phone battery. Oh, why would their batteries die? Because so many things were happening, so many people were making calls and tweeting pictures and, and mm. sending text messages that, you know, your phone battery just dies. So here's okay. some ways to extend the life of your phone battery. This is general phone battery. This is general. Not, um, it's not Blackberry specific. Okay. It's not iPhone specific. Extending the life mm -hmm. of uh, well, all right, I I don't need to guess. I I'll let you go ahead. Right. So the first thing you want to do, if it is that your battery is low and you need to save that battery power as much as possible, turn off the vibrate feature. Vibrate is actually the battery mm. that vibrates and it uses a lot of power. Oh. So if you're not in a meeting or you don't need to have that vibrate feature on, turn it off. Oh. Uh, I was about to say, well, I, I sort of need that feature, but then you're saying if it's getting down to emergency, mm -hmm. then just 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 turn do that. Off. Turn off vibrate feature. And by extension, you want to turn off your keypad tones. You know, every time you press a key, it makes a beep, 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 beep. Oh, beep. I don't have that. Oh, I have that. So really? You can turn that off. What? Do you, do you dance to it or what? <laughs> why? Why you need? Because sometimes when you're not looking at the phone, you know, perhaps you're looking at the road, perhaps you're looking at something else. <laughs> you need to have those sounds as an audio clue. Um, and also you know there's going to be an intervention soon. Yes, if Denise, if Denise is listed, she's definitely <laughs> There's going to be an intervention oh soon. Oh my goodness. And then um, you might want to turn your ring volume down. All of these things are going to save, preserve a little battery life as you okay. get down to the wire. Also, you want to adjust the brightness settings. You know, this is really good too in case of a hurricane and you don't know when next you're going to charge your mm. phone and stuff like that. You want to turn down the backlight settings. You know that when you use your phone, it, it stays bright for a little while. You can for adjust that like for most phones. 10 seconds? Well, some people it's longer. Some people have it as long as 2 minutes. Oh. Yeah, I have mine at 2 seconds. So, as, as, well, as soon as I'm finished that it, it just goes off? It just off. goes off. And how bright your phone is, you can adjust that as well. And by mm -hmm. reducing both the time, the turn off time of your light. What's the correct the name that we can look up in the menu for that, that you just said? Backlight time. Backlight time. Yes. That's what you were calling turn off time mm -hmm. as well. Right. Which is different from brightness. Which is different from brightness. You want to reduce the brightness and you uh, want to reduce the backlight time. And you also said we want to take it off of vibrate, which mm -hmm. uh, those will be in the profiles yes. of, of the phone. Just about All right. Phone. Okay. Now, when you, are ha when you have a low battery, this is not the time to be snap snapping pictures with your flash. <laughs> this is just not it. Okay. Nothing sucks the power like light. Yes. Right? And if you have your flash on, worse if you're doing video with your light on, mm -hmm. that's going to drain your phone immediately. In fact, yeah, last man. night I was trying to take a picture and my phone said, too low for camera use. Oh. I was very disappointed. Wow. Um, so, okay, these are all possibilities. Um, do you suggest people have, you know, uh, their charger in, in, well, for the ladies in the handbag? 
Um, everybody should have a car charger, is what, what you're thinking? Generally, if you're driving, you should have a car charger. Even if you're not driving in a friend's car, walk with a car charger. And you should have a charger. It's a big story. ugly thing. No, there, there was a time when we had uh, what was called... Shouldn't the person giving me a lift have a charger for my convenience? Sure, because they know exactly <laughs> what kind of phone that you have. You have an Android, you have an iPhone, and they, oh, have, yeah. they have a plethora of chargers in their car just for you. I think, I think that's an excellent idea. Um, but for those who don't have that, that kind of great friend, uh, there was a time when people used to think that your phone would memorize how much battery life you could have and it was necessary to recondition your phone battery by having it drain 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 to nothing and then charge it to fullness I, I still hear people say that yes. is that necessary that is no longer necessary welcome to the new age of modern technology <laughs> that is conditioning your battery on your phone is generally no longer necessary yeah. in fact it is better to top up your charge every once in a while as opposed to letting it drain down that's what i do uh you know i i'm supposed to get the five bars or whatever if mm -hmm. i go down to three two then I'm, You're charging. It's, it's gonna be charged. I have a simple rule. If I'm sleeping, my phone is charging, and it works. There you go. Speaking, except when I have long days, like a charm. And if 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 I if you do it every day like that, there'll be no problem, no right? No problems at all. I've had my battery, and I haven't had a battery die on me. By the way, a battery mm. generally lasts about two to three years. So if you're on three years and you see your battery power draining, as in when you're charging, if it doesn't stay charged as long, mm -hmm. chances are you need to change your battery. What about um, upgraded phone? Before you change your battery? No, I'm saying if oh. you can afford it. Oh. No, then I have a phone just get a years, new one. Just get a new phone if you can afford it. What about uh, things like people say uh, your your internet, if you leave it open, it drains mm -hmm. the battery? That was and... my next point. Oh, Turn okay. off wireless options like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Mm. Come on, if you're not using your Bluetooth headset, if you're not streaming uh, music over Bluetooth to your wireless speakers, if you're not using your Bluetooth, turn it off. It's also mm -hmm. safer that way, right. as well as your Wi-Fi. If you're not using Wi-Fi, turn it off. But I could still be doing the internet thing. Yes, you can still ha access the internet through 3G, through mm. Edge, through GPRS and, and other wireless systems. So though that way it doesn't drain it as much? As much. But okay. Again, if you're not using 3G, let's say you are stuck in a, a 2G area or on a 2G network, turn mm -hmm. off the 3G feature. Another thing you can do, if you don't absolutely need your email right this minute, Turn off your data services with Hurricane Dean back in. Why you don't tell me to turn off the phone, huh? Just <laughs> no. tell me turn it off. And yeah, I'll save battery if, power. If you're really, really desperate, yes, turn off your phone. And Here's then turn a, it on when you need to. I have a off. good question for you. Yes. How is it that if I turn off the phone when the battery is low, yes. it gets stronger? <laughs> how is how does it do it that? It appears that way, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. It does. It doesn't actually get stronger, but it, it just when it boots up, it boots up with a little bit of power to it. So <laughs> it's not actually stronger. It's not oh. going to last any longer than if you had it oh, on, okay. except for the time that you had it off. I I I used to do the trick where I I just kept turning it off, mm -hmm. and then I when I'm about to make a call, I turn it back on, yes. and then it seems stronger. It seems, but at least you've been able to save that battery life for the ten or twenty mm -hmm. minutes that you had it off. So definitely, you should do that. Um, yeah, and quick multitasking. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> oh, I'm going through a, a thing. Uh, your phone often can do, especially smartphones, can do multiple things at once. It can be running multiple apps at once. Mm -hmm. The more apps you're running, the more it's going to drain your phone. So we spoke about this when we were talking about uh, speeding up your BlackBerry. You can hold the menu key down or you can press Alt Return. Remember we're trying to do that? Mm -hmm. And it shows you all the different uh, apps that are open on your phone. And if your browser is open and you're not using it, close it. If Google Maps is open and you're not using it, close it. Twitter, Facebook, all of those things. You don't absolutely need them all the time, especially if your battery is low. So you close down these programs and your battery is going to last a lot, lot longer. Basically, your phone sucks energy. My alt return locks my phone. Yes, we, we went through that last time, I remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. And, and you had to figure out something. All right. Um, well, we're going to go to the, uh, to the text line and uh, find out if there are any special questions uh, for Carlet, whether it has to do with on uh, saving battery life or how you can uh, train, untrain or not train your battery, or uh, if you had some uh, new ideas for some different phones, or if you had a totally different idea. She doesn't get to choose which questions she answers. No. She has to answer every single the question we throw at her. Easy one. So, uh, or, you can follow up on the uh, blog, trivialonfame.blogspot.com 
and uh, we'll give you some of the Twitter sites when we come back. So uh, on the other side of the news, we'll have some more for you. Got 10 minutes? Get technified with Tech Time on Tuesday in Trivial Pursuit with Francois and me, Carlette, on the Blazing 95 FM.